Hello everyone and welcome back to another universe opening. Um, UVS Games kindly sent me some new products from the Attack on Titan set uh, to open up a little bit early. The pre-releases were this weekend, but the main set release uh, is this week. So we will have a full box opening ahead of schedule. And uh, they also sent some Clash decks. Uh, these are very much like absolute first time decks. Uh, most of these cards in the Clash decks are commons and uncommons from the booster set. So I'm not gonna really look at these. I'm probably just going to keep these sealed and give these to new players at my locals uh, because I do anticipate there will be a sort of influx of new players for Attack on Titan. This set is definitely geared towards that. And um, you know, if if you are interested in learning to play the game from no knowledge previously, uh, these would be where you start more or less. They're pretty much designed to be played against each other. Um, and they give you a slightly more simple view of the game to build a foundation. And then you can go ahead and get the next level up, the challenger decks, or just start cracking packs. And they're all compatible with the previous universe's releases that I've opened a number of on this channel uh, in the past. So. I've been playing Universes for a little over a year now. Uh, we actually have a deck profile from my top four finish at the last event. So check that out too if you're interested. And we also have Calvin's top 16 from that same event. But let us just start cracking some packs and seeing what we've got. I'll do my best to keep these in focus. I've had issues with that in the past. I will get a new webcam when I start doing more, um, you know, actual video content instead of just stuff from the podcast. So. Some, all right, I already see we've got like an alt art in here, so I'm going to wait. So something about this set um, is it is almost, it, it's exclusively manga art, which I've talked about on the podcast in the past that I actually do like the manga aesthetic for a lot of IPs. Uh, this was not one I had on my list when I was talking about that at the time, but after seeing it, like some of these just look really cool. And I think uh, it is a very different way to look at the, IP, I think. If you're, you know, only familiar with the anime and then you see things, like, I think the character card especially just looks super cool. They're almost all, like, these full body shots in a black background. So, looks like we have our first, okay, it was just an ultra rare, but um, we have the female Titan attacks. This is also something, a new mechanic for Attack on Titan is the shift cards. They are double-sided cards. Uh, it'll say shift under the name, and some characters will also shift. So I guess I'll say, spoiler warning, if you've never seen Attack on Titan, uh, this might have some light <laughs> some light spoilers, I guess, for the first, uh, I want to say two seasons of Attack on Titan, I think is what this covers. And then there is the next set um, coming in November that I think will cover the rest, I believe. But anyways, I'm not going to spend a whole ton of time on just the commons after the first couple of packs, but I do think it is important to see a good number of them. Uh, Attack on Titan, to the best of my knowledge, also doesn't have like an official like colored manga. So all of these were done by the artists at UVS, uh, I believe working with, um, you know, the Attack on Titan. I don't know who is in charge of, <laughs> you know, uh, who is in charge of the Attack on Titan manga, but uh, yeah. Oh, the Cat Titan attacks. Anyways, sorry. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, it's fine. We'll leave that in. It adds some character. Um, all right, so let's just get through some more of these and get to the good stuff. Ymir. So this is one of the first transforming character. So Ymir turns into the Jaw Titan. And very cool. I actually think most of the transforming characters, I think, are very cool. Erwin is also a very cool character. I've got a chance to play with him a little bit. He was a promo given out at Gen Con uh, last, last week. So I've already had a chance to sort of build a deck for him, not with the actual support cards from the AOT set, but just with what was already available. So and Reiner, uh, this is probably my favorite character from Attack on Titan, and I think probably who I think is one of, if not the strongest new characters from the set, so pretty cool to see him. He also transformed into the Armored Titan, very cool. And then Rallied Assault, my second ultra rare. 
Um, so most of the coloration of the backgrounds also is the same color of whatever symbol the card is on. So like this is a fire symbol card, so the background is orange. This is actually can be played on any symbol, so any deck in the entire game could put this in, and I guess they decided pink was the, the color for that. All right. Um, I did play a peer release, a sealed peer release with these cards um, last weekend for the. I guess I'll keep the characters separately. I wasn't doing that earlier, but I'll start doing it now. Um, and there are some new mechanics in this set that I'm still like just playing it sealed. I don't quite. I didn't quite get to see how they interact with the game as a whole, but as a sealed experience was fine. I think there were a lot of changes that I was really not sure how I was going to. Uh, you know, how well they were going to be received, but I think all in all it was acceptable. Oh, okay, and we got our first alternate art character. So this is super cool. These actually are, these are like full color. These are manga volume cover arts. I know there's a Beast Titan alternate art in this set that is volume nine. I do not remember which volume this one is. I meant to look them up and I forgot. And we got a secret rare in the same pack. Actually insane. So that one right there. Uh, I really, really like the aesthetic of the secret rares. It is, it is like it's a a page from a from a book, which is very, very cool. Like I really like how these look with the cool border. So pressing the advantage. This is very reminiscent of a very powerful card called uh, Indiscriminate Shock 1.3 million volts from the first My Hero set, and this is a little worse of a check, but it has EX, so you can actually give it speed. So I think this card will be pretty strong i wasn't when they first revealed this card i really wasn't sure if i would like it but the more i've thought about it i think the more when i started thinking about it from the perspective of this is just a discriminate shock but with the x and then it checks a two instead of a three i think i kind of came around on it but very cool armin this is actually um the first character that i wanted to build in from this set so very cool i got the alternate art let's see if we can get the chrome rare one <laughs> There are some serialized um, cards in this set that are also signed by, uh, or they have a signature of the author. So getting any of those would be insane. Uh, I have some from some of the older sets, but obviously uh, always have to get the, the new ones too. So I'm gonna start going through the comments a little bit faster now that we've already seen some, the more exciting cards that the commons are not gonna see nearly as exciting anymore. but. Armin is super cool. I'm very glad I got this is a this very cool card. It, it reminds me a lot of the other characters that, that I've played in this game so far. So very much looking forward to it. Marco, surprising strength. So all of the car oh, I guess something I haven't mentioned is in this set, characters also have rarities now, um, and they can all come foil and non foil, uh, not just the alternate art. So this is actually, Armin is actually an ultra rare character. So the ultra rares and higher can have alternate arts entirely, which is what this Armin is. But they can also have foils of their normal um, character cards like that. So hopefully we'll see some of those and I can point it out. But nope, I went through really, really fast on that one. Didn't even see anything. And then I believe, yeah. And then the uncommons are the cards that are... I don't, I guess I started, what, I don't even know what, how I was organizing these at any point. All right, great. <laughs> Cards are just kind of gone wherever now. Whatever method I had is no longer, is no longer here. All right. Oh, and this is the other new card type, backups. So not only can you have cards that will shift into other, that, that can shift into backups. You can also have a couple in your main deck. Uh, this I think there are only two or three that are in the main deck. I don't remember exactly, but most of them are the shift attacks where your attack will turn into a backup. And it will function a little bit differently from the other card types. Like they have health values and you can, can attack them. Um, I think it will be relevant in the Attack on Titan spotlight format where you can only play attack on titan cards but i think you'll not see it too often um other than the shifting attacks in the standard format uh, mikasa this is another ultra character 
So we've seen duplicates of a couple of these characters already, um, but this is one I do not think we, we, we will see a duplicate of, as this is, uh, you know, much harder to get. And this one also has an alternate art, which I don't think I've seen before, actually. But it is another, I presume, just a manga volume. Bear told. So this is a character, uh, if you're going to play this game, um, this is a character that they did already issue an errata for. I think they forgot to put it once per turn on his top effect. So just keep that in mind, I guess. If you have absolutely no knowledge of this game and start learning the rules and reading the cards, he already, he uh, is once per turn on his top response. They've they've already issued a sort of like, I guess I don't really want to say a clarification document, but there was a couple card texts that were changed a little bit and he was one of them. But he's still very good in my opinion. I think he's still fine. Oh, here's another back up. Hmm. All right. And I see an ultra rare. To you, 2,000 years from now. I think this card is pretty cool also. Um, the There are alternate arts, I guess. I'm not gonna call them, they're, they're, they're the same art, but they have different colorations of the ultra rares and the secret rares. So I do hope that we get at least one in here. Um, unlike the alternate art characters, which are the full color manga volumes, the alternate art uh, ultra rares have different color palettes, which I see one right now. <laughs> okay, great. I guess I'll stop talking and we'll just get to it and then we'll see it. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Just another ultra rare. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> this is, they've now tricked me twice. Um, Hopefully, when we get one, I can I can say why I've seen the silver on the border of the card and thought it was an alternate art every time. But intimidating command. All right. Okay, I see a silver border card again. Let's see if it's an ultra rare and they fooled me for the third time or if it's actually one of the alternate colored ones that I can then talk about. Sasha, okay, here it is. This is actually the, <laughs> very good. So the ultra rares, uh, I believe they're called Pearl where they are almost completely monochrome and they're full art and they look pretty nice. And then the secret rares are sort of like this but they have a darker color palette and hopefully i will get one and then you know i can show it off but change of plants very cool all right these packs are much louder than i thought they would be hopefully i can adjust the sound in post Execute orders. Okay, this is a card. This is the card from the set that I actually wanted <laughs> uh, because I already had an idea for an uh, an Irwin deck and for Armin. I wanted this card, so very cool that I got this one. I and this card is just very good, and uh, I was hoping to get one from this. Maybe I can get the the alt art one too. Although we already got an alt art, so probably not. But anyways, this is the this is the card I was hoping to get to. Uh, play for 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 play purposes this was the card i was hoping to get so very cool let's onslaught all right so there are a couple characters we haven't seen yet uh but i think they're all of ultra rare and above so i've already gotten two ultra rare characters so pretty unlikely that i will get the um the rest of them but we'll see Oh, another secret rare. Oh, man. Um, cool. Colossus Steam Barrier. Not expecting that. Two secrets in one box is, I think, unusual? I don't know. Uh, there are more. This is a larger set than previously. I believe there's a little over 300, or a little under 300 cards in this set. So, um, yeah. Uh, there are, I think, 14 secret rares, which a case in this game is six boxes. So, sure, I guess two secret rares in a box checks out maybe i don't know we'll see small sample size so far but very cool 
I'm gonna open these packs under the table and hopefully they're not as loud. I should have realized this earlier than 20 packs in, but it'll be okay, I hope. All right. Annie, I think that's the first time we've seen Annie. Oh, vertical movement. This is another uh, card that is just, I'm actually going to pull, this is going in one of my decks immediately, so I'm actually going to pull this aside. <laughs> this is it's just an uncommon, but it is just something that I I should probably look through the uncommons again later and see if I got any more, but I think that card is quite good, and it is a, a generic card. You put it in any deck you want, regardless of the symbol. Oh, anyways... Oh, Levi, another Ultra character. Okay, cool. So this is in one of the other Ultra characters. I guess we've got three. I think there are, there are only four. So we've got three of the four Ultra characters in one box, which is... I didn't expect that. So, pretty cool. Um, we're only missing Aaron, and then the Beast Titan is a secret rare character. So I think those are... I think it's like one every other box or something like that. So not every box will have one, I believe, as I can see it right there. Anyways, I Beast Titan, cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess he heard me. Yeah, so Beast Titan, secret character. So we've now got every character except for Aaron, which is crazy. Um, cool, yeah, awesome. And then what is even the... I could just... <laughs> All right, great. I think that is every character except for, I, I do believe it is not every character except for Aaron that we found. So pretty cool. Ah, just kidding. I don't think we still have pre 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 yet. This is a common too. I'm kind of surprised we hadn't seen one yet. All right, and last pack. This is actually a card that I got to, I don't want, I guess I'll say re reveal at, at St. Louis um, for my post-match interview for my future match. This was the card that, that they showed me. So I like this card a lot. This is really cool. Last pack. Let's make it count. Big Mouth Titan, and just a rare. All right, well, too bad the last pack couldn't be anything interesting, but overall, I think uh, very cool um, as far as the, you know, packs are concerned. Uh, all Dark Character, two Secret Rares. Again, I'm not sure if this is normal in this set. It's very possible it is. Um, you know, I've only been one box of this, so who's to say uh, if the new normal is two Secret Rares? Which wouldn't be that shocking to me, considering there are just four, I guess three secret rares if you count this, but I don't know. I Not really. This is different uh, odds for, for the characters than the actual main deck's secret rares. But yeah, all in all, uh, we got every character except for Aaron, which is crazy. I didn't, I, maybe they explained how the rarities of characters works and I just didn't get it, but I did not expect to get, uh, four of the five high rarity characters in one box but anyways yeah so that is the attack on titan battle for humanity uh box opening um i hope i was able to fix the <laughs> deafening sound of the <laughs> booster pack wrappers <laughs> when i was talking but um you know if not i'll i might have to uh you know voice over this after the fact which would not be fun but yeah um, let's have a look at all of our ultra rares, and then that will do it. Okay, so this is the one I was most excited about, Execute Orders. I think this is just a very, very strong card, and I'm looking forward to playing it in a bunch of different decks. Uh, change of Plans, the Pearl, the Alt, Dominating Command, to you 2,000 years from now. Deal with Attacks, and Rallied Assault. 
So yeah, um, we have sort of been working on a tutorial video for this game geared at people that have already played card games before. If that is something that you think you'd be interested in, I probably should have said this in the beginning of the video, but if that is something you feel like you'd be interested in, uh, you know, definitely leave a comment down below and it will probably, uh, you know, bump it higher on our party list. But till then, uh, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.